Welcome back. About one in five employees will experience a mental health condition each year. But given the right resources, all employees benefit from a supportive and psychologically safe workplace. And that's why the nonprofit organization Mental Health America created the Bell Seal for workplace mental health. This is a first of its kind certification program, and it recognizes employers committed to creating mentally healthy workplaces. Now, here to share more about creating a stable, supportive, and less stressful work environment are Russ Petrella and Paul Gianfrido of Mental Health America. Thanks to both of you for being here tonight. And Let's get right into this. How prevalent are mental health conditions in the workplace? Mental health conditions are all too prevalent in the workplace. Uh, two thirds of people say that workplace stress is so great that they engage in unhealthy behaviors outside of work. 80% say they take it out on family and friends. Fully one in six people actually have to interrupt their careers uh, for mental health conditions, most frequently depression or anxiety or post-traumatic stress and we lose one person every workday to suicide while they're on the job. Typically, the worst stage in any chronic disease uh, would be stage four. And if you wait till stage four to intervene, you don't tend to get very good results. The same is true in mental health, but as a matter of public policy, uh, we have made mental illnesses in this country the only chronic diseases that we typically wait till stage four to treat. What we're trying to do is move this upstream, move the conversation to prevention, to early identification and intervention. And that's in part what we're doing with our workplace mental health initiatives so we can intervene earlier and we can get better results. I'm a clinical psychologist and I think one of the things that we're very aware of is work can be hard, work can be stressful, but the, the kinds of things that people are dealing with aren't just related to work. Problems at home, uh, problems with family, uh, problems with relationships, all can come into to focus when someone's in the workplace. And uh, sometimes it's just everyday stress, getting to work, getting childcare, getting kids off to school, dealing with traffic, uh, adds stress to people. And so it's things within the workplace and things surrounding the workplace that can make people feel uh, overwhelmed at times. Now, what can an employer do to help? Really, there are five things that uh, employers really could focus in on. Uh, culture is one of them. Uh, leadership from the CEO on down is another. Uh, benefits that they offer for health, making certain they offer the same benefits for uh, mental health services. Uh, various kinds of perks and programs that just make workplaces better, and of course, legal compliance. And within the Bell Seal for Workplace Mental Health, we've recognized some of those employers are doing particularly good work. Ashland Chemical is one of them, Dallas-Fort Work Airport, uh, EAB uh, that provides educational consulting services. You know, my experience has been is that no matter how hard we high, try, there's still a lot of stigma regarding mental health issues, that people are still embarrassed, people are reluctant to, to reach out, reluctant to talk to family and friends. In some places, it, it, it impacts their employment. If, if you say, I, I have a mental health issue and I need to take a day off, I need to go see someone. Uh, so stigma, I think, is one of the biggest uh, obstacles to people uh, uh, receiving appropriate mental health care. Yeah, more than half of the people in a survey that we conducted said they're actually afraid that they'll be punished if they take a mental health day. So that gives you an idea about what employers uh, need to be dealing with, but also what employees are dealing with. What can employees do themselves to support their mental health? You know, I, I think that uh, the employers have to create an environment where people feel safe and employees have to feel comfortable reaching out to, to break through some of the stigma, to reach out, to admit they have issues, to admit they have concerns, and to sometimes push to, to be able to get the services they need and the environment they need to, to feel healthy, to, to create a, a feeling of wellness and well-being in the workplace. And so the employees have to uh, kind of raise their hands and be assertive that, that they need certain things in the workplace to, to make the workplace both safe and comfortable for them. Mental Health America is the nation's longest standing mental health advocacy organization. Uh, we believe in intervening before stage four, before mental health concerns become crises, and work with more than 200 affiliates and associates around the nation to promote mental health. Russ Petrella and Paul Gianfrido of Mental Health America, thanks so much for your time tonight. Thank you. Thank you. And we'll be back after this.